We've got another talk, another call from New York. Okay, you can see it? Yes. Great. You can start. Well, good evening, and, and thank you for having me. It's, a, it's just a pleasure to be a part of Start the Future. There are so many amazing presentations. Uh, I, my name is Tony Marlowe. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for a company called Integral Ad Science. Uh, what we do is the verification game, and one big part of our business is to keep brands safe when they're advertising online. Um, and we've done a number of, of pieces of research to understand what are consumers' reactions to advertisements they see that might be adjacent or might be near uh, coronavirus content? And so that's what we've done here. And we've, we've very recently replicated some U.S. research, done so in the Italian market. So just to launch in for this very brief version of this, and we're about to release this study, we, we asked consumers in Italy a number of questions. So there was a study conducted with about 500 people, all internet users, and unsurprisingly what we're seeing is the vast majority of Italian internet users are actively seeking news about coronavirus, so 90% there, uh, 93%. There are a few indicators that not only has this situation shifted our everyday behaviors, but also as people are going online and those impression volumes are increasing, we're seeing not only are people consuming more coronavirus content, but more news content generally as well. So you can see nine in 10 say, not only are they consuming more coronavirus news, but they're consuming more news generally. So people, as they're, as they're being quarantined, as they're staying at home, they're starting to get online more, and consuming news is a big part of that experience, not surprisingly. So what's also interesting is that we know that a lot of coronavirus news and coronavirus content is ad-supported, and the consumers are telling us they've got some mixed behavior and perception around this. So firstly, 40% of Italian internet users say it is totally suitable for a brand to appear near coronavirus content. And that's good news for publishers. That, that's a, a big chunk of the population. What's also worth recognizing, though, is that a third say that whether a brand is suitable to appear adjacent to coronavirus content really depends on the brand, and it depends on the category that that brand comes from. So that's one third there. So the, the largest group saying it's totally fine, this is an unusual situation, I'm okay with brands appearing there. And then one third saying it really depends. And when we, when we looked at this a little bit more deeply, it's interesting to, to see that 63% report that when they do see an ad near, near coronavirus content, that their sentiment towards that brand is unchanged. So they're, they're not changing the way they feel about a brand that they see in those environments. Where we do see some differences, though, it depends on the category. So the areas that consumers most want to see advertising near coronavirus content, they want to see educational ads, they want to see healthcare and pharmaceutical ads, so medicines, and they want to see government ads. They're the top three categories that they do want to see. And in terms of the areas in which they least want to see coronavirus news and content, travel right now is, is uh, what, topping the list of categories they least want to see in these adjacencies and food and beverage is close behind. And we see auto and energy not far behind that. And so there, there's some of the re excerpt results from the Italian research. I thought it would also be interesting to share some of the findings we had from some recent US research. And what's interesting is, in addition to the adjacency to, to coronavirus content, the message of the ad unit itself also makes a really big difference. And so we had almost half uh, of consumers in the US tell us that if they see ads from a brand and it provides them information about how to deal with the coronavirus situation, so we're seeing ads from, from brands saying, here's how to wash your hands properly, here's how to, how to maintain proper social distancing, um, people are reacting really positively towards that. So half are saying they would be more favorable towards brands that do that. They're also more favorable towards brands that, that highlight what a company is doing amid the evolving situation. And we see um, if it gives, if it features their product or service being used in a coronavirus or quarantine situation. And we've seen a little bit of that today. So those things are perceived really positively. Um, the US research also told us that the environment matters a lot. So when people are seeing ads adjacent to coronavirus content, 
but it's on a premium or recognizable news source. So for me, that might be the New York Times. Um, people are telling us that they're much more likely to engage with that advertising if they see the same ad in a premium environment versus a non-premium environment. So the environment really matters for how people react. And this is pretty consistent with some biometric research that we conducted last year. Um, this was conducted in, in New York, uh, where, where I'm based, and we, we showed participants in a laboratory environment a number of different ad units, and we showed them ad units in premium, high-quality environments, and those same ad units in lower-quality environments. And what, what we noticed is ad units that appeared in the premium environments were more likable by a long clip, so 74% there. They generated a higher level of engagement, and they were more memorable. So we're seeing a few, a few things at play here. And just to wrap up the, the rapid fire five minute presentation, the key takeaways that we learned from this research, which we conducted to, to really educate marketers, educate publishers, obviously there are more serious things happening in the world, but um, helping answer some of these questions is important in, in maintaining normalcy for these professionals. So we saw six key things. So people are consuming more coronavirus news and more news generally, so they're going online more. They report that their sentiment is most likely to remain unchanged if they see ads near this content. But we do see that um, one third are saying, look, the, the appropriateness of it depends on the brand. And most specifically with points four and five, if you're in the travel, food or auto business, they really don't want to see those ads right now. But if you're in education, healthcare or medicine and government, they really do want to see those types of ads now. And then lastly, we just spoke on it, um, but the US data tells us that ad messaging really matters. So what is the message of the ad? Is it helping people right now? Um, it also matters where the ad appears. So if it's on a premium news or content site, we're seeing greater levels of engagement there. Um, and so they're the key takeaways. And if I could just take a moment, I, I heard the previous speaker do this, but on behalf of our company, we really want to, to give special thanks to healthcare workers globally, public safety officials, and everyone who's doing their part, including people who are just staying home to help stop the spread. Um, thanks to everyone for, for keeping our community safe amid what, what is a pretty unusual situation. And one thing that we're doing as a company, and we're really proud to partner with a number of parties, you can see them there, the White House, the CDC, the, the World Health Organization, um, and the Department of Health and Human Services, we're helping to deploy um, free advertising on behalf of these bodies. Uh, pointing to World Health Organization information and pointing to, to CDC information. We want to make sure that we fight misinformation in, in our efforts at the moment. And so us doing our small part just for the community is pushing these assets which help proliferate the correct information out there. Thank so you. that's what we have to share with you. You can see my details on the screen. If you've got questions or want to reach out, my email is there. But thank you. Thank you, Tony, for this research that we will share also after with our community. Thank you.